Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Last time we celebrated our 100th episode with a visit from Mayor Danny of the neighboring town of Sparkles. We went on a little island adventure and we talked about the history of Gooston back all the way when this place was just a big old grassy field discovered by one chubby little fox baby. So if you missed that, definitely check it out. Gooston's very different now. We have a bunch of villagers. We have probably 50 flowers for every villager. I really need to clean up this flower field. It's getting out of control. It's kind of like the bamboo problem, number two, with the, uh, the flowers here, Revenge of the Bamboo. This is definitely out of place. This is not supposed to be here. There we go. We got a nice ruby. So I need to go greet our newest villager. Coco just moved in, and I have not met her yet. So let's go see if we can talk to her. She might be at her house or just wandering around. There's Pinky. Here's a... Uh, a little thing here. Ooh, is that a pitfall? Let's let Pinky decide. Come on, Pinky. I know you're fishing. Oh, we don't want to talk to Pinky because we're trying to get her to move. I think we actually have one of every type of villager now because uh, Coco's a normal villager, but you're going to see in a second she is anything but normal because she is very creepy looking. Pinky, is this a pitfall? It is! <laughs> Sorry, Pinky. Oh, I feel bad. I don't have anything against Pinky. She's Now she's ticked. Oh, jeez. Pandas are usually very docile, but they can just kind of <laughs> pull your jacket through a bar, like that one video of the guy at the zoo. But uh, but yeah, I don't have anything against Pinky, necessarily. You, you could never tell because I pushed her into a pitfall. But we already have Tangy, who is my favorite little peppy villager, so I'm kind of... I, I don't know, Pe Pinky could stay if we want to keep her. She did, probably doesn't want to stay now. She's just rampaging through the flowers. Alright, anyways, we need to talk to Coco. Is Coco home? Oh, hey, Graham, what are you doing, little buddy? Other than fishing. So, it's time I greet everyone a new way. Yeah, I'm tired of the same old Excelsior. How about you give me a new go-to greeting, Adam? All right, we'll come up with something real quick. I knew I could count on you to help me stay cool, Dingle Dong. <laughs> I don't know why his catchphrase is Dingle Dong. Let's come up with a new thing here. Uh, how about... I think we gave him Zounds before, because that's like an old medieval uh, greeting. How about... Uh... Uh, hey ho, hey ho. <laughs> I don't know. That that sounds like uh, Graham would say that. We'll go with that for now. Hey ho, uh, hey ho. Hmm. How does that sound to you? I love it, buddy. It's good for now, at least. If you guys come up with some other greetings for any of the villagers, let me know, because then I'll have them handy to to pull out here. Uh, wow. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Adam. All right. So uh, I'm dressed today as a Japanese school punk. I just want to, you know, I want to seem youthful and cool to the villagers. I got to get reelected, so the cooler I seem, the more likely they're going to, you know, keep me as their mayor. But I'm a little worried I'm going to be intimidating to Coco. Oh, she's home. Okay, let's go meet her. And I actually don't have a voice for her yet. We need to come up with a new voice. So we got a new villager, so she needs a voice. Ooh, this is creepy. Her whole family's here. She's got all of her relatives living in this little bonfire. A kind of old shanty little... Uh, cabana house going on here. Coco, excuse me, I want to get a good view of you as we talk. Coco, look at those eyes. She's got those black eyes, like uh, jaws or just a bottomless pit. <laughs> okay, we, she needs a creepy voice. Let's see. How about like, what if she's just like, oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Coco. I just moved here, so I haven't met everyone yet. It's a little overwhelming. Anyway, I hope we can be friends, but First things first. What's your name? <laughs> Adam, that's a really nice name. Let's plan on spending lots of time together. Do doing <laughs> So she's got a creepy whisper. I hope that's a good voice for her. I wanted to make her extra creepy. But she's cute. She's just a normal villager. She's going to be really friendly and nice despite her look. But yeah, she's kind of based off of the gyroids. So you can see why she's got a bunch of them here. Which are those little Hanawa figures which were buried with the dead in the past in uh, in Japan. So that's kind of why you find them after rainstorms, because it, it, you know, uncovers them, digs up the soil a little bit. Hello again, how can I help? Doyoing! Her catchphrase. Doyoing. I hear you're a bit of a hometown hero, Adam. You're the topic of lots of conversations around town. Doyoing! All right, let's get out of here. She's gonna, oh, she bowed. She's so polite. I love her, though. She's one of the more unique-looking villagers. She is a rabbit, but it's hard to tell because she looks like she's made out of terracotta. 
All right, so what else can we do today? Let's see what's going on in town. See a Graham and a little buddy there. I need to start hitting some rocks as we go around. I want to see what's going on in town. Maybe I can ask Copper. He usually knows. Some days he doesn't seem to at all. Just walk over that. I feel like it's easier to uh, just walk over the things instead of trying to dig up the pitfalls and then selling them for next to nothing. Right? They might actually make you pay to, to get rid of them at retail. Hey, Copper, what's up, buddy? Good afternoon, citizen. How can I be of assistance? What's new in town? We received an application for a camping permit today. I wonder who's planning on camping in Gooston. Hopefully not some sort of troublemaker. I'll make sure they dispose of their marshmallows and put out their campfire and prevent for it. There's a lot of trees in Gooston. A forest fire would be horrible here. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be really scary if like horrible things could happen in your town, but luckily it's very peaceful and nice. Everybody's fishing, or at least a few of them are. All the little villagers. Okay, let's go see who's camping. So we have nine villagers. We can get our tenth villager if we find the right one. And I don't have to worry about uh, personality because we have one of each, which is nice. But uh, we'll see. I'd like to get another really cool special one. I miss Drago. Hey, who is this little little one? It's another little bunny. We we just talked to a lady bunny. Aw, she's adorable. Hey, uh, look, I know it's kind of sudden, but I just thought I just up up here. This trip was so last minute, but I'm totally glad I listened to that little voice inside my head. Coco has a little voice inside her head as well, and it tells her to murder people. <laughs> but yeah, we, we just got a, a cooler bunny today. Ugh. She had some creepy eyes, though. They turned red. Like, I had a bunny with little red eyes. Kind of weird. Oh, I know a, a fun game we can play. It's called Snap Decision. It's totally intense. Five pieces of furniture, five prices. If you're quick on your feet and in your noggin, you might get a steal. But there are no guarantees in a game like this. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? All right, let's do it. So we need to uh, try to pick the one that appeals to us the most. And uh, if, if we don't pick one, you know, we'll have to buy the last one, basically. All right. Let's we'll stop the name of each piece along the price. Come, okay. We're just going to pick the one we want, hopefully. First up, we have a wonderful drum set. It's a steal. That, that's pretty good. I might just see what else we got, though. I'll pass on that one. But yeah, you don't want to pass for too many. Or else we're uh, going to get stuck with something. A colorful wheel? Uh, I'll pass on that. I have no idea what that actually is. All right. A ranch bookcase. No, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hedge my bets here on number four. Hopefully a robo bed. Ooh, awesome. I don't think I have one of those. Let's buy that. I'm not going to risk whatever the last thing is because usually they overcharge on the last one. Finally, I knew you wouldn't be able to pass that one up. Or maybe you just couldn't take the stress. Here we go. There you are. And uh, she paid for her camping with a robo-bed. The mayor always accepts bribes from out-of-town campers. So aren't you just dying to know what the fifth piece of furniture is? Well, too bad I'm not telling. <laughs> Way to taunt me with a thing that I'll never know. All right. So I don't think we're going to have Dottie move in, even though she was cute. We just got a rabbit. And uh, I almost said rest in peace, Genji. He's not dead. He just moved away. But uh, I, I miss Genji. I wish he was still around. But he's off somewhere. And uh, hopefully he's having fun. I, w I really want to get like a Zen garden or something cool to uh, to build where Genji's house was, but we'll have to wait on that. There's a uh, there's Ribot. I'm trying to hold off talking to Ribot some days, just because if I can. Uh, hey man, just if I if I don't have to talk to him, then I don't have to do that voice that is horrible on my lungs. <laughs> just makes my throat uh, seize up. All right, what do we got in here? No, no new events, but we did get a camper. So I want to check these rocks, and uh, maybe we can finish up. Oh, oh, I didn't realize I started to walk away. Hopefully I can still get some bags here. I'm going to miss the last one at least, though. Yep, there we go. It's still better than nothing. All right. Almost walked off and missed that coin. I was going to say, I have some mail, but I also have something that I just took out of one of my letters here. There it is. It's a calm painting. And uh, let's go talk to Blathers. I don't think we've we've seen him in a little while. I'm gonna donate that painting. I got it. I think it was one of the the other episodes. It's been it's been in my mailbox for a little bit. I usually hold off reading mail until we we have one of these. And uh, but yeah, the the painting we got from Red. So I'm gonna try to donate it there. All right. And maybe we can drop by the shops real quick to see what's up. I uh, shouldn't be running with a shovel. That would be horrible to fall on top of. There we are. I try to run as much as I can when we're on Main Street, or even like a bridge or the town square, because it's nice to take advantage of when you can run and not destroy the grass. Uh, hoo, 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 oh, 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 dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Gooshin Museum. Oh, hoo, 
Oh, how many we have of service? Let's make a donation here. Would you like to donate? This calm painting. I don't think we've gone and seen the art selection. That's that's kind of slim pickings in the art area of the museum because uh, you can only get them every so often with red, obviously. So it's like, yeah, I think all the other areas are a lot more fleshed out. But let's go check out the art place real quick just because uh, I want to see how I'm doing. This is probably the last area that I'm going to complete if we ever complete all the museum. I'm, I'm pretty close, though, with some of them. I think I only have, like, four bugs left. And uh, we got a good amount of paintings, actually. Jeez, this is almost all full there. I did not, I didn't realize I was uh, doing so well here on paintings. That's pretty good. All right. And then uh, I like how the, the music actually changes depending on where you are in the museum. So yeah, we got that discus guy. He's not holding a UFO this time, like the fake version. We actually have a fair, fair amount of art, but a lot left to go. So it'll be a bit before we finish this up, but I'm surprised we've got so many paintings. Cool. Okay. So uh, maybe we'll drop by a shop in Goostin before we finish up the episode. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know uh, what other stuff you want to see. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode with Danny, And uh, I'll have her back sometime soon here. And eventually we need to go visit Sparkles, our sister city. But uh, what other stuff do you want to see? Do you, I have all these street pass homes. We could go check out some of those. There's lots of stuff we can do. And uh, we still have some other things to build here. I've got, a, I've got another building on Main Street we haven't completed some stuff like that. I got finished my home. Ooh, there's a nice spiderweb umbrella. And uh, I've got that monster one. This little police hat. I think I've got all of those. All right. I need to be buying clothes mostly because that's, uh, I think, the last mannequin I need. So let's see. Anything here? <gasps> and there's like sweet armor back there. That looks pretty cool. I don't think we have this. It's like gold armor. All right. Let's buy that. If we want to be a centurion. I think I have that centurion helmet. Okay, I have this ninja outfit. We just wore that when we were on the island. I kind of want to just like buy all of these and just see if we can maybe get the mannequin today if I buy enough. You have to buy like a certain amount of uh, of clothing. And if I'm lucky, I got the accessories one like way before because I buy way too many little st stupid goofy goggles and, and helmets and stuff. Blue zap pants. I'm trying to collect the green zap stuff. There we go. All right, maybe, maybe, nope. All right, no mannequin today, but maybe next time. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to head out. I need to learn more about Coco, the creepy little bunny. Hopefully you guys are happy. I'm pretty happy. She's one of the more special villagers, so I'm glad that we got her in town. Thanks again for tuning in. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf.